All right, Maximus Analysis here for August 13th, 2015. At the close, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we had absolutely no follow-through, uh, which we discussed yesterday. Now, again, the high and the low of today is what we're going to see. Uh, the decision needs to be done tomorrow. So, again, they break the low of uh, 73. They go lower. Okay, they go to 93, then we just sit on our hands pretty much because they're going to need to take out uh, higher levels. Again, right now they're at 2080. Yes, I know the number keeps coming up and coming up, but it comes up for a reason. So again, they had absolutely no follow through today, but that doesn't mean that it crushes down. But again, we need to see some proof about some follow through because again, we had two down days. We had a Monday, so it's a lot of volatility not really going anywhere, you know, because again, think about this, that on the 7th, we closed here, and we're right back at basically the close of, uh, when was that? The 7th was what? Last Friday? So we, we haven't moved in a week, literally. So again, you had a lot of volatility, made some great day trades, but uh, hasn't moved uh, in a way that's making us feel comfortable. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you have a uh, YM. Again, the YM is continuing to show uh, weakness. Again, it doesn't have any follow through as well. Volume spiked up with no movement as well. And you have to respect the lower highs that are being put in place. Has not captured that 17,800, 18,000 area that we were talking about. So until then, again, any pop ups or rips up would be shorted. Okay. Until they get back above some levels that we feel more comfortable with. <clears throat> Excuse me. NQ. Okay. Again, no follow through, but. Out of all top three, we, we uh, say this one is in a lot better state, basically, and it needs to hold this 4450 area. If it doesn't hold this 4450 area and drops down, basically breaking the low of yesterday, which uh, comes out to 4430, uh, then we see continued, uh, you know, that, that would be a cause for concern, especially this one being that it would be, that would then tell us that this is a false breakout. IWM uh, continues to, excuse me, AWM continues to uh, look weak, uh, continuing to go down, down, and down. So uh, they could pop up up to this 122 area that would still be shorted based on what the volume is today. Uh, we had <clears throat> Apple no follow through today. Doesn't mean that things are, are going to, to crap, but again, we wanted to see the follow through, with especially how much volume we had going here. Break of this low of 109 with def 109.50 would definitely be a cause for concern. You have a uh, Solar City. Uh, this is one that was uh, requested, um, and you can see it has this basing pattern. So again, the, the long hair, uh, based on this risk, would be okay. Again, sideways, sideways, sideways. And you can see that this area has been going on for shoot almost a year and something that this area has been so i understand this type of taking a short but again they break below that you want to see what else you have going on there and then look at like a weekly time frame you say wow they break that area the next area we're looking at is 42 and potentially uh 28 so i don't like this as well so you have this high this high this high this high and going into so this could move very quickly to the downside if they don't hold this immediate area so let's keep our eyes on that one and then we'll go from there um so the dow uh like we said pretty much had the, the names that were holding it up were um home depot okay so they had the home depot which faded into the close you had uh trv basically they they shot that one up and uh cat no follow through whatsoever uh, on this this name you had um 3m excuse me 3m no follow through as well and you also had pg so again i'm just not a person that likes to toot my own horn at all i just like to say what i truly feel and if I don't know what's going on, I will say I don't know what's going on. If I say I'm wrong, I'll also admit that. Um, the reason why, again, these areas have continued to come up is because we're in a choppy situation. So again, you want the price action to prove. And you also want to make sure that you're looking at the trend because a lot of the names that we've spoken about, Exxon Mobiles, uh, we saw yesterday, we said, wow, they, they really threw, it, threw stuff at it on Monday and yesterday. 
uh, hasn't moved and it's in a confirmed downtrend. You have Schlumberger, uh, actually looks like it could be setting up, but the retracement's not really, it's just sideways. Uh, you have IBM continuing to look uh, weak here. So you have that one pop up yesterday, which people, you know, you don't get, don't let the candlesticks as well confuse you with what the trend is. Again, the candlesticks are good to use in combination with a trend, but they're not something that you, you want to lean you want to lean on support and resistance when you take a trade and you also don't want to lean if you have support and resistance and then you see an engulfing like let's say you see an engulfing here because of this resistance band fine you take it and maybe you go risk-free one day and go from there if you have um you know let's say you have support like down here and you say okay i see an engulfing over here i'll take it but you don't want the candle to be almost uh, what I, I I like to call it almost like an orphan type of, of deal. You don't want to just see one candle and say, okay, uh, I see a hammer, so I'm going long, even though it's in a downtrend. Because people do that and they end up taking long the the retracement, which is very difficult. And you might get a little pay here and there, but it's not. You know, when it breaks down, it's breaking down hard because the trend is what's pushing it. So uh, just just a little lesson from there. Uh, Twitter. They continue to sell again. This is uh, almost glad that it came out. Um, they continue to have more downside potential with this. If you're looking at the weekly time frame, you can see that it is this is it. So you can go long if you want, but this was your line in the sand, this dirty area, and they broke below it again. They're at 2850. So if that was it, manage your risk and go from there. But right now, you don't even you don't have anything to tell you to get long this based on this long-term chart versus I just like Twitter. I like Twitter too. I'm on Twitter all the time, but that doesn't mean I'm going to put my money towards it. So you have a uh, price line um, actually filling this gap fully. So now we got to see what happens. we got to see what the bulls do and how much volume they do do it with if they're going to pop this above uh, today's highs. You had uh, Amazon uh, pretty much didn't give much follow through at all. That's pretty much the case for a lot of stocks. So we got to see what happens tomorrow. Netflix uh, gave a good pop early this morning. Then kind of faded as well. But again, it's the market tie. But I would not short this name. Uh, you have Tesla that's looking like it's setting up for a good short. Quite honestly, it would be quick. But the reason why I'm looking at a short is because we just kept grinding. We never made new highs, and now we're breaking down below. Well, giving some spacing below this. This last, these last lows. So you see the space between there and there. Take a quick, you know, again, it's not, I don't like taking one bar pullback, but uh, with this price action going on, it could be something. And, it, and again, if it breaks above the high, or if it doesn't break the low tomorrow of 39, uh, 239, I'm not gonna take the trade. So we'll see how it goes. And again, you can see that the 200 day moving average has pretty much just been flat. Um, and go from there so again i'm not trying to put too much ma's but i'm trying to keep these short but again there was no follow through uh, again and uh, we have to see the bulls show up or the bears could take over tomorrow and going into next week so let's not get over anxious uh we understand we're in the chop and we just want to wait and to put our keep our powder dry so when we see an opportunity we're able to take it versus hoping for every single damn wiggle of uh, an obvious choppy situation uh, you know, to go long or short. And, and that's where I'm, uh, hopefully you guys are getting some value from what I uh, give out daily. Because again, it's not to say that I'm right, and you're wrong. It's just to give another opinion. And hopefully the opinions are going in line with kind of what you have going on or have saved you from being in the chop so that your capital, because again, remember that this is, you know, brokerage firms have been making a shitload of money uh, over the last couple months because a lot of people have been trying to gain. So you don't, you have a lot of choppy, 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 choppy trades, which creates, if you're not disciplined, a ton of commissions. They're not in the, they don't want to pay you out. They want to make the commissions because that's how they make their money. So be c careful. And I'm glad that you, if you guys have, if, have uh, <clears throat> excuse me, have, have kept your, your powder dry, you, you hopefully are able to get capital so when they break either way you're able to make money also remember option expiration so i don't know if they're going to crush both sides tomorrow um, of the weekly puts and calls it looks like they're going to make money on both of them quite honestly so we'll see what happens and again it's just choppy day we'll call it 
Michelob time for those that are <laughs> older, or we'll just go out and get some Guinness and just chill from there. So again, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow and take care.